Hello, and welcome to How To With Stu. Today, I'm going to walk through installing an AEC coprocessor card into our Radius NX series DSPs. We begin by removing the top panel of an unpowered Radius NX. First, detach the rack ears on both sides of the chassis, which are held in place by three screws each. Remember to set all screws and hardware aside for reassembly once our task is complete. Next, remove the three chassis screws on the top rear of the Radius NX. You may now carefully remove the top panel by lifting slightly to clear the tabs from the chassis and pulling towards you. Here's the top view of the AEC coprocessor. Notice the front of chassis arrow, which indicates the correct installation orientation of the card. On the Radius's motherboard, you'll notice empty sockets and standoffs labeled 1 and 2. These correspond to the 1 and 2 silk screen on the coprocessor to ensure proper placement. Using the supplied screws, carefully secure the card to the motherboard. Very little torque is required and these shouldn't be more than finger tight. Once we've reassembled the unit, it's time to apply power and verify that our installation was successful. On the front panel, we press and hold the menu button until the system pages appear. Then we click this button several times to cycle the displayed information until we reach the coprocessor slot page, which will indicate whether we have no, a single core, or dual core AEC installed. 